Is the Apple Vision Pro a good product for music producers? The short answer, well, maybe. Most people have this assumption that virtual and augmented reality pertains mainly towards gamers and virtual 3D chat rooms. And for the most part, this is true. This kind of product is directed towards people that enjoy physically interactive entertainment and being able to watch movies at a movie theater without actually leaving your own home. And even better, you can do this with your friends who also happen to have a virtual reality headset. But how in any aspect would virtual reality benefit a music producer in 2023, let alone this upcoming year in 2024? That is what we are here to find out. Let's go. We already kind of know who the target audience is for virtual reality. And that is anyone that wants to get into a visually different space. And if you have a pair of headphones and everything is compatible correctly, you can actually incorporate head tracking with a lot of movies and video games of today, giving you pretty much a semi immersive environment. And this is really cool. But what does this have to do with music production? Well, if you haven't already heard about it by now, Apple Music supports Dolby Atmos and the spatial audio rendering for AirPods and other Apple products that have audio playback, along with Amazon and Tidal being the only other two streaming platforms that support binaural playback. And if you want to know more about what exactly Dolby Atmos is and how it plays a role in music production, I highly recommend you check out this video here. And if Dolby Atmos is something that you are interested in learning more about, I highly recommend you subscribe to this channel where I go into more detail about some techniques that I like to use with Dolby Atmos and how I think the future of music production with Dolby Atmos is here to stay. But anyways, let's actually talk about how the Vision Pro itself is going to affect music producers. If the Apple Vision Pro does become a product that the average consumer uses, producers are eventually going to have to know what the audio sounds like and what they should be accommodating for. But the likelihood of the Vision Pro becoming the next best thing is slim to none. Or is it? Think about it. Just like with any Mac Pro, iPhone Pro Max, iPad Pro, or any other ridiculously expensive product that they have on the market always has some kind of affordable alternative for a lower tier consumer that doesn't have the money to spend on these fancy gadgets. The iPhone SE, the base model iPad, the Mac Mini, the HomePod Mini, and the MacBook Air, the list goes on. The reason I bring this up is because I feel like that the Apple Vision Pro hence the pro in its name, is going to be the big one with all of its bells and whistles, and they're gonna make the Apple Vision Pro seem way cooler than it actually is for the people that will be potentially getting a lower tier version of the product. And they have already kind of done this with other products like the Mac Pro versus the MacBook Pro. And while these are two vastly different products, aside from the operating system and the functionality between the two, it almost doesn't make sense for you to pay three times more for a desktop computer that is just as capable as a laptop for a third of the price. And it almost seems too good to be true that you're getting such a great deal between the two. Once Apple kind of figures out how good or bad the market is going to be for the Apple Vision Pro, they may opt to figure out how to market to a lower tier consumer. They did this with the iPhone mini and it kind of flopped. I love my 12 mini, but I guess it wasn't a fan favorite. The only difference between this and the iPhone 12 mini is that the iPhone has been a major product that people love and have loved for at least the past decade. And for the average person that doesn't have tiny fingers like I do, it doesn't make sense to make a downgrade to a smaller phone. But aside from all of that mumbo jumbo, Apple clearly has a vision for the Vision Pro. The way they executed and promised all these ways to utilize the technology you are already familiar with is crazy to me. What is even crazier than that? The price point, which will be a huge determination on whether or not this is going to be worthwhile for the average music producer. And in my opinion, this would be a cool product to have in my artillery, even if I wasn't using it every day for music production. Having the capability to have multiple screens and potentially not even need to use my MacBook for basic day-to-day -day tasks would be a huge help by just putting on a deluxe pair of goggles. Now, this is a little disclaimer here. I have not tried out the Apple Vision Pro myself, and it's going to be a while before we get the opportunity as a consumer get to determine whether or not the price tag is even worth it. 
And speaking of worthwhile Apple products, I have a video about how the new M3 chips in Apple's new products could be a real concern for people looking to upgrade. And I'll be sure to leave that video right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.